I guess you forgot about the interest. <laughs> hey! Alright, there we go. Oh! Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here, I want you to meet our... <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, right. and we have our answer. <laughs> Drink. 
Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well. well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Them whores have stopped letting you watch through a window for free. It ain't fair. Okay there? you have the time there? Not able to help you with that. Hey, are you blind? Hello, sir. Hey there.
Hey there. That all? Hey, eyes where you're walking. Out of the damn way! Hey, partner. Hey. Got a smile on my face today. Good. I ain't drunk, all right? Hello, gentlemen. All right, stranger. Mister. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Hell if I know. <clears throat> Mister? Partner? Here's this one. He finds my company so dull, he drinks himself into oblivion whenever Who's I try to ask him there? a question. Who's your friend there? This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Partner? You play good. Keep it going. Thank you. 
with no. your clever, no, huh? No, 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 huh? no. With no, your no, goddamn no, games. Please, I got an please. idea. No, Wanna hear it? Huh? Oh, hey, please. you leave her be. I ain't afraid to get blood on my hands. <laughs> You got no hope, mister. For the show? What do you have playing today? The bear. Mm-hmm. Take it, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream. An old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. <laughs> I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friend, <laughs> the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Come again, even better the second time.
Let's go. Keep going, girl. Bastard. Can you wait a second? 
Easy now. I was hoping for a ride to town. You bastard. You got a problem, friend? How you doing? Doing all right. We're not looking for company or conversation, so you just stay back. Hey, you gotta get out of here. Stop bothering! Oh, God! Oh, God! Don't need to do this. Yeah. Bruises don't look so bad. Oh, yeah. That fight was nothing. Yeah, you left me to deal with the big guy. Hey, Arthur. Send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope. Really? <laughs> I can't. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. Good morning, Arthur. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot of money. Good morning, Arthur.
Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Appreciate it, Pearson. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Can't wait to taste this. This is all I got for you. Good job, Arthur. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Clean myself in weeks. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you're kidding me, right? A course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and... You smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. 
Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. It still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. Whoa! We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do. We move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet.
Easy. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said... E easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. You want me to take him? Now stay here. Don't you damn move. Yes, they know we're here. Let's get him. It's off. We move quick. You are lying, that little boat. Oh, die, you drunk idiots.
Leave him. Calm's still here. Hey, he said calm be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. What? You set us up. No, I... Did you did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> and they're right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
dime. Give me something. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Get out of here. You're not kind, mister. You're not kind at all. Get 